All right, so now we're in Psalm chapter 15 as I'm slowly going through the one year Bible. And this is a great Psalm where David is asking, you know, what kind of person can go to heaven? And it really describes a perfect person, which is what you and I should strive for. But we have to understand that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And you and I are not perfect. And the only way that you and I can go to heaven is that we are clothed in the righteousness of Christ by faith. So I believe that God the Father sees me as Jesus, as if I've never sinned, as if I've fulfilled this chapter, and that's why I get to go to heaven. So, so please do that. You have to do that. You will not go to heaven if you try to be good on your own and you think your own good works will save you, because they will not, all right? The, the, the law and chapters like this are here to show us that we need a Savior and that we're not able to be perfect. But if you abide in Christ and His Word abides in you, you'll bear much fruit, the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, thoughtfulness, and self-control. Against such thing, there is no law. So, so this is your goal. This is not how you're saved. You're saved by faith in Christ, and the, His Spirit flowing through you will produce this kind of person. So let's read this kind of person. Lord, who may abide in your tabernacle? Who may dwell in your holy hill? He who walks uprightly and works righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart. He who does not backbite with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor does he take up a reproach against his friend, and whose eyes a vile person is despised, but he honors those who fear the Lord. He who swears to his own hurt and does not change. He who does not put out his money at uh, usury, or he doesn't charge interest on, his, on giving money or loaning money to people. Nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. How many politicians are taking bribes against the innocent? He who does these things shall never be moved. Isn't that great? So, so look at this chapter. It's beautiful things of let's treat people right. Let's love people. Let's stand for truth. And that's who we should be. We should be striving for that. But understand that God sees you as that. And God is providing for you as that. Um, that as if you've never sinned. So it's a great chapter. Let's aim for these things by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. So you knowing that you're accepted by God apart from your behavior, it's going to give you joy. That joy is going to give you the strength to live out this chapter.